Snappy Snap. Hey guys, it's Jay, and today I am here with a Top 5 Wednesday. Top 5 Wednesday was originally created by Ginger Reads Laney, and it is now taken over by Sam. So I will leave both their links down below and the Goodreads group if you're interested in joining. Today's topic is your favorite books outside of your comfort zone. So my comfort zone is usually like YA contemporary or like thriller books. I have a total of six books because I don't like conforming to today's expectations of me, so... I'm cheating, deal with it. My first book is Cress by Marissa Meyer. I saw my wrap up for May. I gushed about this book for like five minutes. I absolutely love it. It's a sci-fi book. I had never read sci-fi. The Lunar Chronicles was my first like venture into the sci-fi genre. I love it now. I will pick up Winter eventually, I'm hoping. I gave this a five out of five stars on Goodreads. Absolutely loved it. 100% my favorite in the series. Definitely check it out if you haven't read The Lunar Chronicles already. Which I'm sure you have because like everybody and their mother has read this series. My mother is actually reading this book right now. She's on page uh, 50 if you're curious. I'll let you guys know what she thinks of it when she's done. <laughs> so, super good book. Captain Thorne is my bae and that's all I really have to say about this. The next book that I have is Lord of the Flies by William Golding and this is a classic book. I usually despise classics. I don't like them, I don't like reading them, I don't want anything to do with them because I just don't like the language and it just takes a lot of effort for me to read it. So I usually don't like them, but I absolutely love this book. I read it in grade 11 or 10 English and I think I would have liked it a lot more if I wasn't like told I had to read the book, but I still really enjoyed it. And this is actually my school's copy. Kind of stole it from them when I uh, left and I have no regrets on it because now I got a classic that I like, so. <laughs> I guess I technically have seven books because I have two from the same series. But, you know, again, I don't like conforming, so... Hmm. The next two books are from The Summoner Trilogy by Taran Matharu, and the first book is The Novice, the second book is The Inquisition. I like The Inquisition a lot more than I like The Novice, but they're still both very good books. I typically do not read fantasy. Again, I usually read YA contemporary or thrillers so this was like one of my first ventures into the fantasy genre definitely pick them up if you want to it's about a demon summoner guy named Fletcher and he's super cool so really like these ones really really like these ones I gave up both of these books a 5 out of 5 on Goodreads so I normally do not give 5 out of 5s it's very rare I usually will give a 4.5 before I give a 5 so that's when you know these books are pretty good. You should probably read them if you haven't already. And the third book's coming out, like, next year, I'm pretty sure, and I am so excited! The next book on my list is Daughter of Smoke and Bone by Lainey Taylor. I believe this is also a fantasy book. I would call it a fantasy book. I could be completely wrong. But I also gave this book a 5 out of 5 stars on Goodreads. I absolutely loved it. I was not expecting to like it because I have heard that it's, like, really hard to get into. But... I absolutely adored it, and I need to continue on with the series. I have both the books, I just, they're both really big, and... Y'all know me, I suck at reading big books. The next book on my list is City of Bones, The Modern Instruments by Cassandra Clare. Finally read this book, guys. I finally read it! I read City of Ashes as well, but 100% I like this one better. I would also say that this is a fantasy book. I put off reading it for so long. Why? I don't know. Because I really liked it. Gave it a 4.5 out of 5 on Goodreads because of Jason Clary, their whole like thing going on between them. I was like, nah, nah no. If you haven't read it, you should read it, but you've probably read it because I'm the last person on planet Earth to read this book, so. <laughs> and the final book on my list of seven because I'm a bad person when it comes to top five things I don't follow rules is binge by Tyler Oakley this is a his memoir I listened to it on audiobook and I absolutely loved it it was actually him reading the book to you which made it ten times funnier in my opinion and I just love this book I think it was the first memoir that I've ever read highly recommend it listening to his laugh just fills me with joy like he is the cutest human being in the entire world so highly recommend please read the book because it's super cute all right guys so that was my top five wednesday my favorite books outside of my comfort zone most of them were just because they weren't ya contemporary or thrillers or they're just really big books so <laughs> don't like big books do not like them 
I will see you all in my next video. Good.